This PvP server is home to some of Minecraft's best and most deadly players in the world. Even some of your favorite Minecraft PvP YouTubers train here too, who I'm not gonna even lie, are all overrated as hell. They have get destroyed in seconds by some of the top players on the server. And then, there was me. Having spent over two years of my life on the server and 30 days straight PvP, I was still dog sh**. However, I was determined to improve. By the end of this video, I was going to be a top player. See, on this server, there's an unofficial rating system to show the skill level of each player, tier 1s being the best, and tier 4 to 5 being your average player. For the last two years, the goal I had in mind was to become a tier 2. Tier 2 is considered a final goal by many players, and tier 2s are all considered top 10 in the entire world. Being better than the thousands of players beneath them, it was the goal I so desperately aspired to have, yet I was about to find out it would be nearly impossible to achieve. After discovering how I could get tier 2, I had to challenge and beat a certain player that was not only tier 2 in Axe, but also happened to be tier 2 in UHC as well. For the record, this guy is not only a top player in his main game mode, but is a top player in a game mode he plays on the side. I was considered the underdog, despite having 10 times his playtime. His name was Frantic, and despite all the time invested in this server and the countless players supporting me, I had zero confidence going into this fight. And that's because not only did my opponent Frantic have one of the most intimidating and aggressive playstyles, but with the support I was getting all around me and with my entire time spent training on this server, I wouldn't have this chance ever again. So as the fight for the rank of tier 2 began, with all this pressure being on me, I started to run away and played really scared. I had lost 14 to 20. Having my confidence destroyed and letting all my friends that were spectating down, I didn't know what to do afterwards. 30 days straight of my life had been spent up till this moment. With my pride and ego being shattered, I decided that I'd do an action any tier 2 player would never dream of. I was going to take a break and go outside. Months had gone by since my duel against Frantic. It had been a long time since I tried Minecraft PvP, so after joining back on the server, I decided to accept a duel from this random player. This duel was about to change my whole view on Minecraft PvP forever. It was clear that this player had a couple things down, allowing him to get some good hits in. However, it would be my experience in the game mode that would give me the upper hand, and I'd start winning round after round. The final score was 6-0, however, it was what Versus did next that really shocked me. After losing by such a large margin, Versus didn't seem phased whatsoever and sent me another best of 10. Out of intrigue, I would accept again, and before long, 30 minutes had passed by. I asked him what was the point of being destroyed this hard. There was no satisfaction in losing over again and again, and I personally thought it was insanity. However, it was Versus' response that would completely change my view on this PvP game mode as a whole. He told me no matter how hard he lost, he didn't care. He was determined to test and achieve the rank of tier 3 on the PvP tier list, a rank that honestly was wasn't too difficult to get. Seeing a random player so determined by such a mediocre goal, it sparked a fire of determination within me and made me question if I had been improving correctly all those months ago in my prime. I decided to spend the next couple hours teaching versus the basics, and as I saw him improve, my passion for the PvP game mode was coming back to me. So before Versus logged off for the night, I decided to set us some goals. I'd train Versus until he could get tier 3, and for me to come back out of retirement to achieve the goal I always desired to have. Tier 2 Auto hits, a technique that involves spam clicking your mouse while shielding so you can be guaranteed a free hit afterwards. It's one of the most important fundamentals when it comes to this PvP game mode, so in order to get it down, I was going to disable Versus Shield until he got it three times in a row on me. At first, he was struggling to keep up with my advanced shield disables. However, after a long time, Versus managed to pull this off. Getting three auto hits in a row was a great start, and for the next few days, I'd continue to hone Versus skills. Things were going well for Versus, however for me, it was about to be a whole different story. The Axe PvP beta, the two most dominant playstyles in the current meta revolve around how you can abuse your ping. With low ping, it would be to play defensive by running a marathon and abusing the bow's faster reload time. 
The second playstyle would be with higher ping, playing aggressive, and abusing reach hits. I was at a huge disadvantage, as the current playstyle did not suit the meta. And on top of that, the player I was going to challenge for tier 2 had mastered the latter, being one of the most dominant players with an aggressive playstyle in Sword Main. This player was Nox. Being able to do whatever this is, Going into this fight, I was extremely anxious. I knew that I could outbow and had the mechanics to keep up with Nox, but there was just too much at stake. I didn't want to fail my tier 2 test twice in a row. I needed to break the reputation of being that player that couldn't get tier 2 after months and months of dedication. With all of this pressure, it led to me playing more scared and defensive than I should have. The score was a 12 to 20. I was really upset. Even months later, I could never achieve the goal I always desired to have, and I was ready to give up. However, before I could, there was something that would catch my eye one last time, and that's that it was versus time to test. After he warming up versus one last time, he was ready. All of his training was about to be put to the test. He was going to go up against Limited, one of the best Axe players in the entire world ranked tier 2. But that didn't stop versus from trying his hardest. Oh, the sham. That's tough. Ooh, okay. Nice, nice. Okay, he's off to a big start. Big start. Big lead. Big lead. No. Come on. Show how it's done. Show how it's done. Yo, let's go. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Yes, let's go. Nice. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That was, that was tough. While Versus got beat pretty hard, it was his reaction afterwards that shook me. He didn't seem to care about the result, no matter what tier he was going to get, but with all of his efforts, he managed to achieve the goal of tier 3. I was really proud of him. However, seeing Versus' reaction to getting tier 3 it made me question myself. Did I have the wrong mentality for PvP? Playing PvP had always been about proving something or overcoming my opponent to me. Was it really worth caring whether I was going to win or lose? Playing a block game like my life was on the line? I decided to take a step back, realizing what did I really have to prove? Was it really worth wasting my life away, attempting to get a name written in a Google spreadsheet? Compared to the average PvPer, I had already felt so out of touch, as the community was significantly younger than me, and most of my friends had already moved on. I had no reason to continue playing, and it was my turn to move on to. But despite that, I decided to rematch Nox one last time. I didn't care whether I was going to get tier 2 or not, however I wanted to finish my PvP career in style. Whether I was going to win or lose, this is going to be the last serious PvP match I'd ever do. This new mentality of not caring whether I was going to win or lose gave me the confidence to try stuff I'd never think I'd ever do against Nox. And while Nox was putting up a really good fight, there was nothing that could stop my momentum. I had done the unthinkable. The final score ended up being 20 to 14 for me. This was a huge accomplishment and I was beyond happy. I'd achieved the final goal of tier 2, the goal I always wanted to achieve for months. Or so I had thought. Because little did I realize, in order to achieve tier 2, I didn't have to fight not only Nox, but also a high tier 2 player that had been in the top PvP ranks for years as well. He was a previous tier 1 player and had destroyed all of his tier 2 testers flawlessly. His name was Mars. And going into this fight, I knew I was going to be an underdog. That's because Mars played really similar to me, however everything I would do, he could do better. This truly was the final serious duel I was going to ever do. All of my training, all of my memories, and all of my tests would lead up to this. This was going to be my final test for Tier 2.
13 to 20. That was the score of my final chance at ever getting tier 2. While the outcome could have been better, I accepted my defeat and I was ready to move on. I could never achieve the goal of tier 2. See, what I didn't realize was in order to get tier 2, I wouldn't have to beat or even tie with a high tier 2 player such as Mars. To get it, I would only have to get 12 games. So I had done it. I had finally achieved tier 2. Looking up at the players ranked above me on the tier list ambitiously, achieving the goal of tier 1 had never felt any closer than I would have imagined. It made me imagine what I could achieve with enough commitment and time spent on PvP. I was getting ready for the possibility of finally pushing for tier 1. I needed to be the best player of all time, and I wasn't going to let anyone stop me. Watching Versus improve quickly and having lots of fun in the process made me reevaluate what I should do. Was it worth getting all my emotions invested in a Google spreadsheet? Was it really worth going into every duel with my pride on the line and having all my skill judged every duel? Is this what was going to make me happy looking back on life years down the road? No, it wasn't. I would finally accept it would be my time to move on. Saying bye to the friends I met with in the community, with my goal of tier 2 finally being complete, I had one last thing I wanted to do with my friends. While I wanted to get tier 2 for the past year, my entire life, it has been my dream to do YouTube. So if you want to consider seeing where this channel will go next, there will be a link in the description to a Discord you can join. It's been a lot of fun making this series, and I appreciate everyone who's been with me since the start. As a wise man once said, maybe the true Axe PvP was the friends we made along the way. There we go. I, like, punched a whole bunch to signify that. We just got put to sleep. Oh, again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna scare me, bro. Oh, Alright. Oh, okay, you can reload, you can reload. Oh, shoot.